We're at such a weird time. Yeah, man. What a it's, great it's time. It's all happening like right in front of us. It's just all at once and so many things from so many and we have so much access to it. And then we also have so many lies. And it's all of it just slamming into each other left and right in right. front of us like little ideological car accidents. I know. Just like the truth and fiction and narrative and bullshit and what you want to believe versus what's really true. Oh, yeah. Oh, I get grabbed all the time. guys and good guys and fucking bang, bang, yeah. bang, bang. Yeah. And the, the way one group of people looks at one thing versus the way another group of people, and they all both seem kind of like rational. Yeah. Like how? How are you guys so far apart in your ideas? How is this? How are we so divided about so many unimportant things? Yeah. When the important things are not being resolved. Like, none of the important, like, if you really wanted to control people, you would want to keep them doing what we're doing. Just constantly arguing about the dumbest shit, the things that we can't, and having very little understanding of what you're really fucking passionate about. Right. And you're just still yelling it out anyway. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you want to, and also you want to uh, make them feel completely impotent and completely... Uh, out helpless. of control and helpless. Yeah. And, and and the only way you can do that is by, again and again, make them think that they are a limited, temporary, organic body that when it dies, it's dead forever. Make them feel like this is all there is, so you better fucking go for it. And going for it means grinding and hurting other people to get your fucking whatever it is you're looking for. Because that's all you got anyway, man. Yeah. And you got to go. So if you keep the fixation on that paradigm, then yeah, you can probably control a shit ton of people. Well, that's what they liked about COVID. One of the things they liked about it was that they could control you. If they could get you to get vaccinated, if they can get you to do that, they could force you to do a thing. That's a level of control they've never had over adults before. It's a new thing. You know, and if it's profitable and it's also this thing you're forcing people to do, boy, that gets sketchy. Boy, that gets sketchy. Well, yeah. I mean, but it's a, there's so many other. And it happened. Did you ever see the video of someone bitching about seatbelt laws? Yes. I love it. It's from like the <laughs> 1970s. I'll never well, wear a fucking seatbelt. Basically communism. Can't yeah. have a beer after you get home from work. Yeah. You know, that's, that's what the guy's talking about. I feel like there's been endless iterations of this sort of flexing where you're like, you can't do that anymore. Yeah. Well, it, it's just the insurance. That's the seatbelt thing. It was just people were dying and it's like costing oh, yeah. too much money and they made laws. But it's our, not like they care about you. our willingness to accept regulation exactly our willingness to accept regulations i'm trying to pull up this uh this, i'm looking for this uh this thing because it's it's wild hearing him say it yeah here it is when you hear fauci actually say it it's just like wow why would you say that out loud <laughs> like you're this is not this is not what you should be saying <laughs> like listen to this Because this is what everybody suspected, that they thought this way. Talk about someone who faded out. Whatever happened to him, he just disappeared. He's in a coffin somewhere, waiting for the, the He movie. reveals what he really wanted out of all those COVID mandates. Once people feel empowered and protected legally, you are going to have schools, universities, and colleges that are going to say, you want to come to this college, buddy? You're going to get vaccinated. It's been proven that... When you make it difficult for people Jesus. in their lives, they lose their ideological bull and they get vaccinated. Wow. Dude, if, so if, if that was in a movie, it'd be cheesy. Yeah. That's like you like the yeah. they don't know the hot mic is on, the yeah. villain gets revealed. Yeah. What the fuck? I never saw that. Isn't that wild? Isn't it just wild that he thinks that way? That's why they fucking turned his mic off, dude. Because they're like, "Hey, you, what the fuck are you doing? You, we only say that at the Bohemian Grove. Well, you can't all say that out to loud." Do is read Robert Kennedy's book. Robert Kennedy's book is more terrifying. And I've always said, if it's not true, why isn't he getting sued? Because if it is true, if it is true, you should all be freaked out. And I know millions of people have read that book now, but it's not reviewed. You, you don't hear it talked about. It's not like a thing the mainstream media brings up. Just the actual facts that he's laying out. 
just not even from COVID, from the AIDS epidemic. Just go back and listen, just re- read that book or listen to the audiobook. And just the stuff about AZT is wild. And using the same language, he was using it that AZT is both safe and effective. Really? Using that same language for something that fucking killed people quicker than anything. Dude, if only they had been, I, I feel like if they'd been honest when they came out with the vaccine and been like, it's, it's, that's no way. There's, there's no a way chance it's going to fuck you up. That's not what they do. They never do that. But ever. then if they'd done that, that's so, like, to do, they like, can't start doing that, Duncan. They've never done that. Then not only do they not do that, but they're allowed to run multiple studies. And if they can find one that they can rig in a way that some sort of a finagle shows some kind of positive benefit, that's the one they run with. And they can have eight studies that don't show it or eight studies that show it's bad. And they just push it away. And then on top of that, what gets even weirder is when someone goes to review these studies, they don't get the actual data. They get the review of the data from the pharmaceutical drug companies, and then they get to review what their findings were. They don't get to review the actual data. The whole thing is nuts. You really think the COVID vaccine was bad for you? What? I'm just kidding. (laughs) I don't even think that. That's not even what I'm saying. What I'm saying is they have a standard way that they handle any kind of medication. Yeah, dude. That's how you make the most money. 